It is a profound privilege to honor Cecily Horton, a dear friend who has been a steadfast supporter of the artist and arts organizations in Houston for more than 35 years. With unstinting contributions of time, energy, and philanthropy, she has become an essential part of the fabric of our arts community. Cecily began her professional career as assistant to the executive director at the Massachusetts Council on the Arts and Humanities in Boston. After moving to Houston in the 1980s, she brought her astute connoisseurship to her first position at Hiram Butler Gallery. I was then privileged to call her a colleague when she joined the Moody Gallery staff, where she launched a new initiative focusing on prints and drawings. She later worked closely with the great Phyllis Tucker, honing her knowledge of fine silver, as well as with Melissa Gropemeyer at MKG Art Management, where she proved her expertise in both fine arts and decorative arts as well. Cecily's public spirit is exemplified by her active participation in a broad swath of our arts community. She took on her first leadership role at Lawndale Arts Center, where she served on the board from 1989 to 1999, acting as president and helping shepherd this vital organization to its permanent home on Main Street, and she remains their trustee emerita. At the same time, she made a profound commitment to the Museum of Fine Arts, Houston, where she has served on the board and chaired numerous committees. At the Glassell School of Art, she has also chaired the core committee. In 2022, she expanded her commitment to the art still further, becoming a trustee of the Manil Collection. Cecily is also an avid and vastly knowledgeable art collector. Her collections, as well as her interests, are broad, ranging from exquisite European miniatures to the most adventurous artists working today. Pat Steer, Sigrid Sandstrom, Robin O'Neill, Andrea Rosenberg, and Alma Thomas and Liz Ward are just a few of the many women artists whose work she has collected as well. Cecily is the essence of philanthropy and humanitarianism. She has given her time and expertise to arts organizations. She has supported countless artists and galleries by collecting art, and she has helped support many exhibitions at museums and art spaces. Her generosity of spirit extends to many friends, as well as to the many terrier pups she's rescued over the years. I admire Cecily so very much, and I cannot think of anyone more deserving of the honor of being named Texas Patron of the Year. Congratulations, Cecily. Well, I believe the role of the patron is twofold. One is to provide a certain kind of support and uh, to act as a sounding board for the people who are managing the goals of the organization to provide a, a sort of a friendly third-party mirror and to, to lend support when and where you can. What I try to do is think strategically about what an organization needs. I would say that uh, for Lawndale, it was really important that we acquire the space on Main Street. And so consequently, I worked with the owner of the property in, and Lawndale and ended up holding the mortgage for some years because, you know, we needed to have a friendly, a friendly hand holding the mortgage while Lawndale figured out its next steps. The main thing that you want out of art is an experience. One of the things I like to do is to provide opportunities for people to have more of these kinds of experiences. The strengths that I brought to the institution, I hope have made them better and more, and more attuned to what is going on in the community. Exhibitions are wonderful things and we love them and we want them to exist and we want them to be, you know, popular and for people to come and see them. However, they only last six to eight weeks at any one time. So it's, it's kind of, um, I feel, incumbent on the people who support this experience and who support the arts in Houston to document that somehow. That way you, you 
you build a record of your the cultural landscape of your community. You know, I have I have been proud to support individual artists here in town. Well, I would like to think that they would have a fond thought for the fact that I really did help out at an important time in their lives. That it was just a little boost that they needed when they needed it. And most recently, um, I have been very proud to support Alexis Pye, who is doing great work and who I believe has a lot to contribute and in terms of the cultural vitality of this community and uh, her work is um, maturing so rapidly, it's phenomenal. I'm enjoying seeing that the institutions here in town are starting to celebrate artists who are from Houston, who have done multiple decades of work here in Houston and who are um, being shown now in institutions that when I first started, they would have never have dreamed of being shown in. Mm. The fact is, is that some of our more august institutions are starting to realize the quality of the work that's right under their feet. And that I find very exciting. My hope is, is that that will continue and, um, and ripen further and that um, we will see a great efflorescence of excitement and understanding of the kind of fabulous work that you can find if you uh, poke around in Houston right now. <laughs>